what's like, you know, the, the minute version of who are you? And then also what is permanent equity? Yeah, so um, permanent equity is, a, we like to describe ourselves as a family of companies that buys family owned companies. So technically we're a private equity firm now. Um, we were um, just a, a small collection of my own capital. In the beginning, I was an entrepreneur and, uh, and then accidentally bought a business about 10 years ago. And that's what led into kind of what we do today. Um, but uh, we mean? raised a- You accidentally well, bought a business. Yeah, so uh, I had a mutual acquaintance say, hey, you should meet this guy, he's in your, he's in your industry. And uh, he just got left at the altar for the second time. And I took that to mean I should try to buy his business because why else would you tell me that? He had no idea. He was just trying to connect two people that were you know, in, the same, uh, in the same field or similar fields. And so, uh, I don't know, I look about what, 24, 25 now. I looked about 13 or 14 then and uh, sat across from this guy and told him I wanted to buy his business. And uh, he, uh, he laughed at me and said, two, two grown men have tried to buy, buy my business. Uh, how in the heck do you think you're going to do it? And I said, I don't know, I'll figure it out. And we negotiated and uh, he uh, told me no thank you. And uh, then seven months later, called me back up and said, uh, all right, let's move forward and get it done. So what was your company before? So I uh, uh, started a, a kind of collection of regional marketing companies. Uh, we had started in 2007, kind of really got going in 2008 and nine, uh, which were, as you all know, interesting times. Uh, but uh, it actually allowed us to grow and uh, we adopted some video technology and it becoming standard. We think we were probably the first people in the, uh, uh, in the uh, world to use it for commercial purposes. But uh, what does this mean? What's regional marketing? You know, we were doing, look, we were doing like ad agency type work. We were doing media buying. We were doing um, uh, digital work, um, you know, uh, trying to scrap and claw and, and sort of make a go of it. Um, you know, so you're just an, you're, you're an agency just figuring it out. Yeah, we were an agency. We had some unusual talents kind of under that agency because being in mid-Missouri, we didn't have access to a lot of specialty groups. So we started building out our own specialty groups. So we built out research. Um, we did some uh, mobile and app development as well. Um, and, uh, and then some film work. So those were kind of the three unusual buckets that you typically don't get into an agency. And how big did it get? Yeah, give us a sense of the like level of success. I think a lot of people, <laughs> one of the things we hear a lot is from the audience is like, they hate when we fast forward and someone's like, yeah, I did this thing. And then all of a sudden these amazing yeah. opportunities opened up and they sort of were like, wait, where were they before? And so give us the before picture. How were you doing? How was that business doing financially? Did it, was it a big business, small business? You know, yeah. What that business like? Yeah. So we, um, so let's see here. So um, I'm trying to, it's been, been a while since I've thought about the numbers. Um, so we grew to 26 employees. I think at the peak of that kind of before we were, um, so we were, look, we were doing fine. I can make a living doing it. I uh, make a good living doing it. It wasn't, um, you know, the agency business is hard. It's really, really hard. And I think that's, uh, um, probably what I've learned in my career is I've made all the mistakes. I've tried and tested a lot of business models and you sort of taste and try something. And you're like, Oh, didn't realize how hard that was going to be. And you sort of, you know, move around. Um, and so, you know, I would say, you know, moderately successful regional marketing firm, um, nothing special. I mean, I would say, um, you know, when, um, um, yeah, when, when we bought the, the firm that we did called Media Cross, um, you know, we were kind of co-equals is how I would describe it, kind of in the marketplace. Um, they were much more focused on uh, government contracts than we were. We didn't have any government contracts. And so I was really attractive about the acquisition. And um, being able to combine those uh, organizations uh, gave us a lot more um, cash flow than, than having them separate just based on cross-selling different products that we had and being able to fulfill a lot more of the, um, uh, a lot more of the uh, gross profit through sort of the larger organization that they had been farming out some stuff. So that was, uh, that was kind of a nice combination. Wait, so did bought. you buy that first company under the umbrella of your, of your marketing business? Yeah, yeah, correct. Got it. And so, and so it wasn't its own entity. No, well, I mean, it was, I mean, if you want to speak technically, it was its own entity, but it was a hundred percent owned by me and a hundred percent of the other firm was owned by me. So, I mean, it's shared resources. Got it, across got the board. It. So you didn't have a co-founder yeah. or any outside investors or anything. Yeah. So I bought it with an SBA loan. Um, thank God for the SBA. Um, and so, um, no, it was, it was just a, it was an SBA loan and, uh, rolled the dice. 